Centro de Investigación y Desarrollo de Tecnología Digital CITEDI from Instituto Politécnico Nacional presents the project Analysis and Control of Complex Mechatronic Systems as an initiative of CONACYT named Cathedra for Young Researchers with the objective of growing and strengthening the capabilities of generating, applying and transferring knowledge to Mexico priority area. Thanks to this program, the group of control systems has grown with the integration of three researchers at Cité de UPN in Tijuana, Baja California. A mechatronic system combines electrical, electrics, mechanics and computer sciences. Some examples include Robotic systems, UAVs, pendulums, motors, appliances, almost anything that involves mechanicals, electronics, and controls in their functions. An important concept in mechatronic system is control theory. Controllers provide the intelligence for a machine to achieve a task and are present in many common objects. There are two leaders in the project, Eduardo Javier Moreno Valenzuela, with a PhD degree in Automatic Control in 2002, from CICESE Ensenada, Mexico, with more than 15 years of experience in fields related to mechatronics and control systems. What is the main purpose of the Cathedra's project at CITEDI? The purpose of this project is to develop advanced control methodologies for complex mechatronic systems. With this aim, the researchers that are participating in this group have different skills. In this manner, we can solve a problem in an internal way. Luis Tupac Aguilar Bustos received his PhD degree in electronics and telecommunications from CICESE Ensenada, Mexico in 2003. He also has 15 years of experience in fields related to robust control of complex mechatronic systems, and he has involved in theoretical solutions and applications based on these systems. What is the impact of the Cathedra's project in the frontier of knowledge? Our research is focused in exploring new worlds where high uncertainties exist. This system requires a high degree of autonomy and safety. In consequence, finding solutions for systems operating under certain conditions must be taken into account. Our group contributes in finding a new generation of controllers which can be applied to deal with such problems. Dolores Alejandra Ferreira de Loza obtained her PhD in 2010 at the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México. Afterwards, she spent four years as a postdoctoral researcher in different laboratories in France and Mexico. Nowadays, she is a CONACYT Research Fellow at CITEDI. Which has been your scientific contribution to this project? My area of expertise is robust control and observation. Uh, such techniques guarantee that the system keeps working in spite of uh, anormalities occurrence, which may happen especially if the system is uh, operating in uncertain environments. As a researcher, what opportunities has the Cathedra's project offered to you? The project gives us the opportunity to develop uh, control science and technology. We are a set of experts with diverse skills collaborating all together in order to consolidate the control laboratory here at CITE. Roger Miranda Colorado, a researcher from Cathedras Conacyt, currently working at CITED in IPN with the control group and the project Analysis and Control of Complex Mechatronic Systems. His research areas include robotics, system identification, and nonlinear control. Why is system identification important in a mechatronic system? It's important because model-based control methodologies require the knowledge of the system parameters. Then, with system identification, we can get an estimate of the system parameters and design a controller that improves the performance of the mechatronic system. What are the main strengths of this group? Each of us have a diverse theoretical background and skills that allow us to analyze a problem in an integral way. This diversity lets us deal with challenging problems from both the theoretical and practical point of view. Ricardo Ramón Pérez Alcocer is a CONACYT Research Fellow working at CITEDI IPN. He graduated with a PhD in Robotics and Advanced Manufacturing at Simvesta. He is performing a research focused on complex mechatronic systems as unmanned vehicles that include quadrotors and ground vehicles. How does the computer vision interact with the mechatronic system? The computer vision provides sensory information about the system and the environment that is not available with other sensors. And this data is used to control the mechatronic system. How does society benefit from this research? Our research at CITEDI provides technological and innovative solutions which can be applied to generate high-value added products. 
it also contributes with the training of high qualified postgraduate students and permits to develop original ideas that can be patented. With the support of Conacyt and the Instituto Politecnico Nacional, are building a future in technology that together will be a great leap for the operations of many companies, whether they are private or governmental, for the development of the country. We encourage you to contact us on the web and our social media to incorporate you as a collaborator of the research group and learn more about this unique project in the country.